there's this ice cream van that keeps driving around my estate and he's ruined several takes of this video. So he's just driving around like your psycho ex. So what's up guys, my name is RJ and welcome back to the channel today. I'm going to be doing the mid-year freakout tag, but we're not going to freak out in the mid-year freakout tag because why would you freak out about it? It's a tag, like, you know, simmer down. So we're going to keep it chill. 13 questions. I look forward to doing this. This is fun. Last year, um, yeah, last year's one was fine. Um, I think I did drop a book, or books fell during that video, so that wasn't so good. But um, yeah, let's just get into it. 13 questions, as I said, so let's do it. So question one, best book you've read so far in 2023? And that would have to be Dune. I read Dune for the first time this year. It's phenomenal. It is absolutely a phenomenal book. It had the best mix of sort of political intrigue and action I've seen. Like, it is just incredible. And the characters were so well done. I loved reading, obviously, about Paul Atreides. Obviously, Jessica was a fantastic character. I think she was my favourite character, I would say, just throughout the book. Um, Leto Atreides was also a great character. Um, the Harkonnens were such a great villain to hate. So, yeah, Dune, I didn't know if it was going to be a favourite of mine or not, but I'm glad to say that it is. And it will take something really special uh, to knock that off. Uh, the Purge. Question number two, best sequel you've read so far in 2023? So book two, um, I would say it's between two, but I'll go with, uh, I would say The White Lock Warrior, so book two in the Aspect Emperor series. I love Aspect Emperor to death. It's such a fantastic series. It's the darkest thing I've read, but it's still brilliant. There's the fucking ice cream truck again. Why is he driving round? I don't get it. Like, he does this often. I hate him. I, I've never met the guy, but I hate him. So yeah, White Lock Warrior. <laughs> I I really enjoyed that book. I would say it's my least favourite out of all of Aspect Ember, but it's still a phenomenal book, and you should all, should all read Prince of Nothing. Read Second Apocalypse. I know it's very dark, but, you know, I would still recommend it. <laughs> uh, question three. New release you haven't re read yet, but want to. Uh, hmm. I don't know that many. Um, the Will of the Many, maybe by James Allington. That's one I would like to read. Um, I don't know. I'll say The Will of the Many because that's the one as I'm recording this is out. So, um, Question four, most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Lightbringer <laughs> by Pierce Brown. It's pretty obvious that it was going to be Lightbringer. Uh, that comes out, I'm recording this on the 4th, 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, Americans. Um, even though this won't come out the 4th of July. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to Lightbringer. I'm reading Dark Age at the moment and it's spectacular it's it could knock Dune off the number one spot potentially I don't know if it will or not I think it may just miss out like but it'll be like a hair's breadth between them uh question number five a biggest disappointment and I would have to say we write the storm by David Madsen I think everything was pointing towards me liking that book a lot just from the setting, from the characters, from the types of POVs that we were getting, I thought I was going to at least really enjoy this book, if not love it, but it just didn't happen. It just did not happen. I didn't like the characters, the, the 
world was kind of interesting, but it wasn't enough to keep me invested in it. So, yeah, I would have to say we read the storm. Uh, question six, a biggest surprise. Um, that's a good one. Um, oh, oh, okay. I've, I found one, thank God. No Country for Old Men by Cormac McCarthy. Uh, the, McCarthy was an author. I didn't know if I was going to love or hate his writing. It seemed like I was going to fall on either one of two extremes. I don't think I was going to be in the middle with McCarthy and I absolutely love No Country. I I don't know if that's because I love the film so much. It's like one of my favourite films ever and that I just gravitated towards uh, the book because of that. I thought it would be a good place to start with McCarthy because I know the story quite well, from the film at least, so I would have some sort of basis, you know, some it would be recognisable. Um, but I loved it, so I'm going to be reading some more McCarthy at some point this year. I read No Country, it was either in January or February, so I'm going to be continuing on with his works. Um, the next one, it's not going to be The Road, because I want to kind of save The Road. I want to try a different flavour of McCarthy. So I'm leaning towards Outer Dark. Um, I think that's more than likely going to be the next one. So, Question 7. New favourite author, debut or new to you? I would actually say Anna Smith Spark. I really I liked uh, The Court of Broken Knives. So I'll say her. I think she's a really, really good author. I do want to get back into the Empires of Dust series. Um, so yeah, so Anna Smith Spark. If you haven't read Core of Broken Knives, um, I would very I would highly recommend it. I have a review of it if you're interested. Uh, question eight: New fictional crush, Victra, from Red Rising. You know why. <laughs> question nine: Newest favorite character. I'm actually I'm gonna give like a really basic bitch answer, and say Paul Atreides. I really enjoy Paul's arc particularly in Dune Messiah, I kind of like that, that's, like, I've, I read Dune Messiah as well, and I liked it, but it didn't live up to the first one, which I was told that was going to be the case, but still a good book, and still, Paul was the, was definitely the star of that one. Um, question 10, a book that made you cry, fool's fate. <laughs> by Robin Hobbs, so final book in Tony Man. I was told that that breaks you, and it did. So, no surprises there. Um, question 11, book that made you happy? I will say This Tender Land by William Kent Kruger. Who, if you've read that, you're probably wondering why, or like, because of how it ends. Like, and that's all I'll say about that. Um, uh, question 12 most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received uh, that's easy it's this, it's right behind me there's a bookmark where's that from? that's from Waterstones I didn't know that was from I didn't know that was there shows how much I look at these books um, that's dust uh, <laughs> I cut this bag. Uh, but the this edition of uh, the these hardcovers of the Passenger and, um, and Stella Maris from Cormac McCarthy, I'd seen them in the Warstones. I'm just like behind the counter, and I'm like, "Can I get those?" <laughs> and she's like, "Yeah." So I bought them. These are, I love these covers, like these UK covers for uh, the Passenger. Stella Morris, um, like these. Oh, no. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I like just those kind of those pictures. I know these are like quite basic hard covers, but I just I really love the feel. That's life. Um, shit. This is why RJ isn't allowed to take his books out of the slipcase. Because it just makes noise. Um, but yeah. So. 
I'm looking forward to getting to these now knowing that these are that this is McCarthy's last work unfortunately um, after he passed away recently it's it's nice to have them I think uh, it'll be nice to have them and I hope I really do enjoy uh, that duology so uh, question number 13 so this is the last one uh, what, what books do you need to read by the end of the year um, so I've got a few things sort of planned out um, for the rest of the year um, so obviously the read-alongs I have going on so I'm doing the Faithful and the Fallen read-along with uh, the brothers Gwyn and Theo from Rekindled Reader um, those are starting actually this month um, then next month I start the Warlord read-along that I'm doing with Alex from Tall Guy Reads and Pat from Pat Smithos and I'm very, very excited uh, for that one. Um, outside of that, I don't have a ton planned. Um, so I'll tell you guys this kind of now. Um, as this is something I'm thinking about. This may not happen, but it is a thought I've had in my head. Um, I'm planning on taking a break from fantasy in 2024 that's that's something that i'm thinking about because there are just other genres that i want to get into um so that may happen if i do end up deciding that is going to happen i want to finish realm of the elderlings this year i think it's doable um but it will take up a lot of the year a lot of the rest of the year if i do decide to do that so I don't know if that's going to be a thing or not, um, but we'll see. So, anyway, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, as always. If you uh, want to join the Grimoire, I'll have that link down below. We have a fantastic community over there. So, thank you guys again, and I will see you guys in the next video. Slam.